Today we're going to go over how to vinyl wrap your motorcycle plastics. These are off a of Honda Grom. If you don't have a Grom, it'll still apply to whatever bike you have. So obviously I've taken the plastics off and this is done. But to take the plastics off, just click on the link right here and it'll uh, take you to the video on how to remove your Grom plastics. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is take off the existing stickers. Just be careful that your nails don't scratch the plastics. Once you get that done, go ahead and give your plastics a good alcohol bath. Make sure you get real tied up in all the creases because that's where it's going to peel if it's going to peel. Also go around the back side where you're going to be folding your edge over. After it's clean, you're going to want to apply some primer. This is 3M 94 primer. What the primer does is it helps it stick inside all the creases, on any curves, just places it'd be prone to peel up. The primer helps with adhesion. So definitely use it and honestly don't think you can put too much. Just get in there and pretty much brush it on. Should get real good in tight corners. Once again, make sure you get the back side as well as the edge. Then you're going to want to cut a piece of vinyl the right size for the job you're doing. So depending on what part you're doing, cut it. I'm using a 3M Scotch print. Don't use anything cheap. Get the best stuff you can afford. This is white carbon fiber. Don't know if you can pick that up. Also, when you're cutting <clears throat> the size of piece you need, allow for a good amount of extra because you never know by the time you start making the curves and such. If you come up short, you're going to be screwed and you're going to have to start over. You're going to waste a lot of product. So go a little bit extra on all sides and you should be all right. Before we begin, make sure you have a couple things handy. You're going to want Obviously a couple squeegees, a credit card will work. Um, this one's felt lined. With anything plastic lined, if you can get felt lined, get it. Anything plastic lined, there's a chance it can scratch, tear, rip the vinyl. So be careful for using that. You're also going to want a heat gun. I obviously went with a cheap one because I don't do this often. But just something with different settings. Put it on the lowest, whatever that is. Mine's 430 degrees. So you don't want too much heat. A little heat goes a long way. So once you start, you're not going to be able to stop. So you're going to want to kind of get everything within arm's reach and then get ready to go. All right. So we're going to peel our vinyl from the backing. Lay it down face down. Now, try to remember how you cut your piece so that it's going to work best. And then you're going to want to lay the piece on. Once you have enough on to where it's kind of holding position, you can go ahead and flip it over. Now the fun begins. You're going to be doing a lot of peeling and resticking. Work one edge at a time. Push 
push all the air bubbles out. Now with the white, it's kind of hard to see the air bubbles, so you get a good light source and kind of play with it. So if you have long nails, be careful, as they could tear the vinyl as well. Just keep working all the air out each side. if it helps. Also your vinyl may fold up on itself so you can see. Don't worry about it just peel it back up. If it's a real small piece be careful because you could tear it Right in here, you can see it kind of has to make a couple weird corners. So for this, I'm going to use the heat. All the heat's going to do is soften the vinyl so you can stretch it. It'll conform in different ways. Remember, a little heat goes a long way. You don't want to overheat it. You could burn it, make it too soft, stretch it way too much. Get a little bit on there. See how now made that turn with no problem? 